Yo, what's going on, y'all? Uh, today, I'm gonna do a video of, you know, first top five mods you should do to your SN95. I did it for the New Edge, and today I'm gonna do it for the SN. Cause I know, I looked up a lot of videos for the first five mods for the SN, but there ain't really much out there. So, I really wanted to do this for y'all. And today, finally get to do it. I was trying to do it a long time ago, but, my stupid self deleted the video. Plus, I didn't really have too much mods on the car. So, I got a lot of more mods on the car now. Looks real good. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. First five mods you should do to your SN95. So, the first mod you should do to the SN95, I believe it should be lowering the car. As you can tell, my car is lowered. On one of the lowest springs you can get on the SN95, which is the iBot Pro Kit Springs. And it's pretty low. Like, I would be able to show you a picture. If I do have a picture, I might throw it up on the screen. But, show you how it looked before, how it looks now. It's completely lower. The gap used to be like up here. It used to be like all the way up here compared to down here. But, it looks way better now. Completely better. And uh, I'm sorry about the boys in the back, you know, they're doing construction over there. It's probably like the only spot I was able to go to. But, uh, yeah. I would say the first mod you should get is lower springs. I know a lot of people say that this is the first mod you should get because, you know, Mustangs come, tend to come from the factory looking by 4x4. Four four. So, first mod get you some lower springs at least a one inch drop or a one and a half inch drop i know there's a two inch drop somewhere out there but i ain't came across it or it would have been on here for sure but first mod go ahead and get you some springs you feel me but let's get on to mod number two so mod number two mod number two i would say get you a cobra bumper for the front end if you got a GT 5.0 whichever one you got get you a Cobra front bumper or a chin spoiler Mach 1 chin spoiler for your your uh, stock front bumper because the stock front bumpers look nowhere near aggressive nowhere near aggressive on a car when it's just stock with nothing on it so I would say get you a chin spoiler on your stock front bumper or get you a Cobra front bumper the Cobra front bumper make it look way more aggressive way more aggressive and uh so y'all know this is not a cobra this is a 5-0 but uh hey it looks good you feel me when i got the car i had the hood but i bought the front bumper oh yeah i would say the second one you should get is a front bumper or a chin spoiler because it completely makes the car look completely different i like i had the uh mach 1 chin spoiler at first and then i got the cover bumper Hopefully I can throw a picture on the screen as well of how it looked with the Mach 1 chin spoiler. Yeah, that's the second mod. Let's go ahead and get on to mod number three. You guys see these wheels, right? You see how they look? Don't really make the car look any nicer or aggressive, anything like that. Plus, look at these tires. Yeah, I, know, I need to change them. I know, I know. But... This is the third mod you should get. It's some wheels. These are some 0304 Cobra uh, rims. I got them all black because I like the look. I could have got the deep dish ones, but I didn't really like them. So I got these. Plus with a nice tire on there. Here's some Nitto 555Rs. And they look real good. They look, they make the car completely, completely look a different way. I'm going to throw a picture on the screen of how it used to look with the stock wheels that I had on it. It looked nowhere near as good as this. It looked so better. The 315s in the back. These are 315, 35, 17. It looks so nice. Hey, they break your pocket, but hey, it's going to be worth it. I promise. It's going to be worth it. But it looks good. I like it. I got the front ones. I got the two front ones, but I need to get tires from them. I need to get two tires for it because, uh, hey, these tires was expensive. These back tires alone, without the rim, was $400. $444, something like that. 
the front ones was two like three or three hundred but uh you know the front one's gonna be completely smaller but yeah i got the front rims just need tires but that's why you still see these on there but that's the first mod you should do is get some rims get some rims with a nice tire please it'll make your car look better and they complement the lowering springs i promise you and make your car look completely better I promise I promise i promise i promise so that's my number three let's go ahead and get on to my number four cabin and y'all all know the famous mustang shifter the stock shifter is out of control it's wild so get you a short throw shifter please this don't really jiggle back and forth like the other one. The other one probably jiggle like way over here. Looks, it looks completely better. I mean, feels better. It's like shorter throws. You know how short throw shifter gets. It's way better. Uh, you could tell that it's in neutral. The other one, you could tell that it's in neutral too, but it just feels more firm. Like it feels better. And it's not like all sloppy going all the way back here. All the way back here i do have my seat out just so if y'all was wondering but yeah it don't have long throws at all the other one you know it'll go from up touching damn near the radio all the way back touching the center console back to the radio center console going to fifth and it's like right here it's touching like right there basically that's the stock shifter but this one you know small little shifts one two bam 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 and reverse don't even go that far reverse on the other one probably go like way down here it's retarded so fourth mod please get you a short throw shifter get you a nice knob to you know complement the short throw shifter i like this one but i kind of want to get one that's a little bigger because i got big hands and this is pretty small but get you a nice short throw through shifter i know they make mgw they make uh pro fives I think this is a Pro 5 shifter. I can't remember. It was so long ago, but get you a short throw shifter. It'll really complement your car, and it feel way better when you're driving it, and make it a more make it a more fun car to drive. So, yeah. Number four, get you a short throw shifter. So I'm gonna kind of put y'all up on game. I'm not gonna do just five. I'm gonna probably do seven. It could be a variety of things, so I give y'all three for number five, like three of them for number five, because number five could be a lot of them, to be honest. So my number five, I would say, would be hmm, most likely tent, 100%, tent. Tent make your car look a thousand percent better. I mean, you don't have to necessarily go as dark as I did. I went uh, 5% all the way around. I went 5%. It's pretty dark. At night time, you can't really see shit. But it makes the car look a 1,000% better. Trust me. You can at least get 15, 15, 10, 20%. It's still going to make the car look a 1,000% better, I promise. So, about to the fifth month should be 10. Please. You can always get other things, but fifth mod, get some tent. And the next mod after that, like if you want to do six mods, I would say your six mod should be exhaust. Get you a nice sounding exhaust. I don't have exhaust on my car. I just have my casket off. That's pretty much it. But uh, I'll show you a sound clip before I leave of how the exhaust sounds. And then, uh, yeah. If you, if you don't want tint first, get an exhaust because exhaust will always make your car look and sound better. Because, you know, when you start your car up in uh, like the parking lot or something or in the morning, people hear that and it make your car sound wonderful. But yeah, if I was you, exhaust, get some tint. And uh, third mod, I would say for number five. Like if you was doing the fifth mod, I would say get you a, a spoiler. The spoilers always make your car look completely better. It's the saline spoiler for the SN95. It looks real good on the car, you feel me? 
looks good. It makes the car look more aggressive because uh, without the spoiler, I didn't like the look. I had the stock GT spoiler, didn't like that. So got me a saline spoiler. It makes the car look a thousand percent better. Looks real good on the car. I know, I know, I need paint. And that's gonna be the last mod I would say that you should get. If you do not have paint, get you some paint. Cause my car, I mean, it looks pretty cool the way it looks, but if you get closer to it, it's ashy. It look all ashy and stuff. I don't know, it's just nasty to me. The roof, ugly. You see all the paint chipping from the plastic bit. It's just, doesn't look nice to me. I mean, how the dark accents complement each other, that's nice, but I think it would look a thousand percent better than this paint right here. So get some paint if you don't have paint already. And if you do have paint, switch that paint mod with some front headlights. Cause these headlights are grimy. The stock headlights that come with the car, I know your headlights is messed up. So get you some headlights for sure. Make you see better at night. Complement it with some LEDs, please. It'll make the car look a thousand percent better. But yeah, those are the top five mods I would say you should get. Give you an extra uh, four mods you should do. So please, please do these mods. You could. It's not in any order either as well. You put it in the order that you want it to be in, or your budget, whichever one. You feel me? I know we all don't got money. I for surely don't. So hey. I understand. Go in the order that you need to go in. Don't matter what it is. You don't necessarily have to do these mods, but it's a start. You feel me? But that's really going to do it for the video. I'll end the video with the exhaust clip. And then uh, comment below. Or, hey, I want to see somebody's like, transformation of their car from start to finish. Or from start to now. When you got it to now, how it looked. So, if you guys want, please uh, let me see that, you know. But yeah, I'm going to end the video out with a sound clip, and that'll be it for the video.